thank you so much for agreeing to this. It's just so great to have you, you know, to be able to actually just hang out with a student for a bit. And for the benefit of those watching this video, what is your major and what is the focus of your studies and what are your goals for the future? So my major um, is a Master's of Science um, with my focus in piano um, here at the music school. I'm originally from Denver, Colorado, and then I got my undergrad degree in performance at uh, Colorado University at Boulder. And my kind of plans out after this degree are really open in the air, but some things that I really set um, after this is to try and get a job where I'm teaching a place where I can be actively involved in the community around me. Like that's one of my other favorite things about PSU is being in an urban campus kind of setting. Um, I get this real sense of like urbanism and that I'm a part of the place that I live in, not just kind of um, a person who's operating in the world, but really getting to live in the world. Uh, so one thing that I do miss is even though I get to go to campus now for a couple of things, but I miss the interactions with my peers. Do you miss that? I miss it so much. Um, I, yeah, by nature, I like to be around people. One of the things that I do like about coming in um, right now is that we still hear the percussion students. Even just that small amount of sound, you know, it just makes me so happy. Piano practice is, is very much a solitary pursuit. Um, unless you're working in a collaborative program or that kind of thing. How has the pandemic kind of changed or, you know, your study and your research? Yeah, I mean, I think it really depends on the day. One thing the pandemic has changed um, and that I've gotten to get used to is the sense of being from place to place. Because as a piano player, I'm used to really um, compartmentalizing my time. And the pandemic, it's kind of just opened everything up. So it's been kind of a struggle just as far as like time management and just getting those things in, even though there is all of this time yeah. now. In Isn't a sense. that the irony? I actually had a question for you. Is, okay. Um, in your graduate experience, were you impacted by scholarship? Absolutely. Um, I didn't come to school with any parent support in grad school. I had some support in undergrad. I was on my own in grad school. It's, it's so, so, so important because um, more and more with tuition increases and the cost of instruction and, and everything going up and up, more of the shoulders being put on the students. I mean, going into the program, very much one of the main things that I was worried about with pursuing this degree is how am I gonna finance this? The worry that is alleviated by the, the financial scholarships that I've received um, that doesn't keep me up at night. It doesn't impact how I'm retaining my the information I'm studying. Like just these little things that really make a difference in how you participate in music and how you don't have to think about them. The stress that alleviates, there's no price on that. Um, yeah. So really this investment really doesn't go unnoticed and doesn't go unappreciated. And it only encourages me to really return that value to be able to then emerge out of this program and be able to be an advocate for my community and for PSU's community. It's It's been really amazing. That's great. You, you seem to keep alluding to this idea of giving back. <laughs> That's really what drives me because not often do I see myself in a lot of classical music performers. And so to be able to offer that to another student, whether it's in the same capacity, but any capacity, just to give them that attention and to give a student the opportunity to be something, is like, that's really the motivation. Well, it's been really good to talk to you and yeah, thank have you. a good rest of your day and uh, hope to see you again soon. Yeah, you, you too, Bonnie. We'll be in touch soon, I'm sure. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.